are you wondering how do you enter in your credit card rewards? This could be anything from an actual money that you get back or a credit on your statement then you are in the right place if we've never met before. Hello, I'm Candace Camper. I love to help business owners and bookkeepers create confidence with QuickBooks. And you guys have been asking me about this. So I thought, why not create a video for you? If you are a desktop user, go up above or down below. I will link a special video for you. If you are using QuickBooks Online, you are in the right place. Let's jump into QuickBooks together. This is an assumption you've already made or entered and created your credit card in QuickBooks. If you have not already created your credit card, I'll link a video on how to get started with entering your transactions. This video specifically is what do we do when we get the rewards on our statement? You use them on your statement, you get money back, one of those things, okay? So the first thing we need to do is go into our chart accounts and create a new account, and it's gonna be called credit card rewards. Now you may or may not know this, credit card rewards are considered non-taxable. So even though you're getting money back from your credit card, it's not a taxable event. So we want to make sure that we create a special account to track all of these in, whether you're actually getting a credit back on your statement or money in your bank account. Inside the chart of accounts. If you didn't see, I went under list, chart of accounts. So we're going to go over here and we're going to click new. And at the top, you're going to choose your account type. You could put something in like credit card rewards because it's non-taxable. You can choose to add that if you want to. Then you're going to choose the account type. I would go under other income. So at the top, you are going to enter your account name. Now, this is how it's going to show when you go to enter it in the transaction. Remember, this is the list that comes from your chart account. So you're going to enter something like credit card rewards. You can say non-taxable if you want, or you can just put credit card rewards. That's up to you. Then you're going to choose type. Now, one thing I want to say as a disclaimer is QuickBooks Online is always making changes and improvements, which is amazing. And just recently, when you went into the chart accounts, there were buttons to click on. So it's possible that this could change again by the time you watch this video. Know that the concepts still apply, just the way you get around inside creating the chart accounts might change a little bit, okay? So then you wanna come down here, you're gonna choose type. You wanna pick other income. Remember that income is the primary way you make income in your business, the different products and services that you provide. This isn't your traditional, so it's other income. It would be similar to if you got a tax return, a refund, things like that. Those are typically other because they're not your primary and they go to the bottom of your profit and loss. And if you're wondering, I have so much more to learn about QuickBooks. Do you have additional training? Make sure to check out our Confidence QuickBooks training. It teaches you the A to Z's of how to set up QuickBooks, entering expenses, income, reconcile all the way to reading reports. So if you're saying I've been looking for tutorials, make sure to check that out. And you can always learn more on our customizing QuickBooks workshop. It's a free training. Make sure to save your seat. With that to be said, you want to make sure you're picking other income. And then over here, you're going to pick the type. And I would just pick other miscellaneous income. I wouldn't worry about creating a sub account for this specific type of transaction. You also can add detail of the description if you want, you don't have to. And you'll notice this is gonna give you a preview of what it's gonna look like in your chart of accounts or on your profit and loss. And then you can come down to the bottom and you can click save, save a new if you have more than one to create, but since we only have one, we're just gonna click save. If when you scroll to the very bottom, you don't see the item, you most likely have a larger chart of accounts, so you wanna click next. And you will see credit card rewards right here. Now we wanna go in and enter in the actual transaction since we've created the account. So you're gonna go up to the plus, new and if it's a credit on your credit card statement you're going to want to go under credit card credit so this is a, your actual statement is discounted you're going to put in the payee as your credit card company so if you have a visa if you have amex chase whatever you've titled your credit card to be you're going to add it there i'm just going to call it credit card for today's lesson but traditionally you'll have one set up Remember, they're going to be a vendor because vendors are people and places you spend money. It should already be created, though, because you're paying your credit card every single month. You're going to choose your card here. What was it credited to? If you have more than one credit card, make sure you pick the right one. You're going to pick the date that it shows on the statement or the last date of the statement for the credit card reward. Could be mid-month, could be end of month. And now we're going to put it back towards, guess what category? Credit card rewards. And then you're going to put in the amount. You leave it as a positive because we're entering it as a credit card credit. Now, if you're saying I actually got money back, how do I do that? Stay tuned because I'm going to show you that in just a moment. So let's say it was $12.58. You're going to put that in there. 
click save and close. You can put in a memo, you can say credit card rewards, you can do a screenshot if you want to. Then if you're saying, okay, great, what does that, like what happened on my credit card account? You would go back over, scroll down to your chart, chart accounts, click on your register and you'll see it shows as a payment, but it's a credit card credit going there. If you looked at your profit and loss for that same period of time, you'll see that the way it shows so this is for the whole year, but if we scroll down to the bottom, we'll see credit card rewards and the amount, and it will just collect throughout the year. Now, if you're saying, okay, what do I do if it's going through my bank? You're gonna make a deposit. This is if you do it manually. Of course, you can always use the same concepts through the bank feed if you prefer. You'd go into your bank account, you would say the date, you'd come to the bottom, and you would choose, guess what? You'd create your vendor again, it should already be created, but your credit card company. Now, typically this is the name, it doesn't usually say credit card. And then here, guess what we're gonna pick? Our rewards account. And then you'd put in the amount. So if it was that transaction, you actually got a check for $12.58, you put it there. If you got a check for $124, and we'll just make up a different amount, 78 cents, that's what you would enter. And that's actually gonna go into your bank as a deposit. So we'll go ahead and click save and close. I'll show you what that's gonna look like on your reports just so that you can see it. So if we come up here and we rerun our report and we scroll down, to our credit card rewards. Now we're gonna see both transactions. If we click on that to get more detail, you'll see here's the credit card credit or deposit. You're gonna pick which one and maybe you have different cards that do each of these. Now you know how to do them individually. If you're saying, okay, what do I do if it's a bank feed? You'd come into your bank feeds and let's say that the credit or the refund, you come in and do the same thing. It's a deposit. It's from the vendor. It's going to go to the credit card rewards if it's a deposit. If it's on the actual credit card itself, let's say that you received a credit here, you would do the same thing, even though that's not what this is, but it's an example. You would click the credit card and then the rewards would go here, just the same as I showed you in the other example. Okay. So I've showed you both how to enter it manually, how to enter it through bank feed, whether you actually get a credit card credit or a check. Let me know down below what was your biggest aha. And if you enjoyed this tip and you want to make sure you get them every single week, you can go up above or down below and we'll send them to you. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I look forward to seeing you inside our next tip and trick. Have an amazing day. Bye.